Hi everybody. Welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, the first Monday in the new year, first Monday of 2021, so Happy New Year. It means it's time for Stampin' with Denise. Welcome. Yay. We survived 2020. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel hopeful for 2021, so good. Let's see here. Let's pull this up on my Facebook page. Did everyone have a nice holiday? and um, new year okay here we go i did it was quiet i was off so let me get this shared so yeah i i was off all last week today was my first day back to work and mondays are always hectic but after being gone for, you know, missing a full week of work plus the weekends on either side, it's always very hectic. So I had a very long day, but I'm so glad to come here and spend some time with you. And I have a cute card. I think it's cute. I hope you do too. If you remember last week, we made this fun Z fold. I showed you how to make this fun Z fold card. Remember on the flower, I, let me see if I can show it to you here. See that? I showed you how to use the gold leafing. Remember this gold, fl sorry, flaky stuff? Uh, it's a lot of fun. If you've ever watched any home improvement shows, sometimes they do gold leafing. It reminds me of that. It's very thin layers of gold. I don't, this isn't gold, but that's what it reminds me of. It's the gold leafing they do on those home improvement shows to dress up a project or something like that so the um let me put this away here so remember if you like and share my video and you comment share down in the comments you get a chance to win the project i'm working on tonight and so the winner of the card from last week is martha rogers so martha i will get this card out to you as soon as possible, okay? Give me a day or two to get it out. I have your address, so that's easy. I love that gold leafing. It's so shiny. And I've got more shiny, more bling tonight. Yay! Uh, let's see here. Um, I wonder what I want to do. I want to shut off the sound on my computer there. Okay, as you know, last week I'm, you know, I kind of screwed up. I have some new software I'm using, and I kind of screwed it up. I've done over the, since I was here last Monday, I went live three additional times. One, I did the December paper pumpkin. One, I assembled an all-inclusive kit. And one, I um, assembled a kit, a project kit, excuse me. <clears throat> so I think I've got the kinks and I think I know where I went wrong last week but um, hopefully we'll be all set to go here tonight so I am going to switch my view to my hands and then we will get started and um, I hope you like the, the project I have tonight let me look here see what I got Hold on. Can I see? Well, I can't see. Pull down. I know someone's making comments, but I can't see it. I'm sorry. Still look working out the kinks. But okay, I'm going to switch it to my hands now. Okay. So, you know what tomorrow is? It's the first day of the new catalog. The January to June mini catalog. Whoops. It's one of my flags. Yay! Look at that. It is so exciting. Let's see what the... There's. Oh yes, this shows you some great paper that's in the... in this catalog. But yeah. So anyway, I am going to 
And you know, the, this entails Valentine's Day, this catalog does. I don't usually do too much Valentine's Day stuff, but there was this one set I really kind of liked in this suite of products. So I did get some of it, and um, we're going to make a what I think is a really cute card. Look at that. I hope you like that. And we're also going to use a new tool that's available in the catalog, and they are blender brushes. They come in a package of three. These are so soft. I could just rub this all day long. It is, it's really tightly packed um, bristles, but they're really soft and it does a great job for when you're trying to blend your inks. So, um, that's how I did the background on here. So I thought we'd get started with that. The real, there are a lot of ways. I wanted to use the blender brushes today, and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it. And, you know, I was going to maybe do a stencil or something. I don't didn't have a stencil per se, but I played with some things, and I thought I'd show you. This I used as a stencil. This is some of that gold, oh, laser cut product from the annual catalog and it makes a great stencil and you could even use that side of it too if you want it on a card but um, I think on this one I use some Rococo Rose and some I don't know baby petal pink and I think some did I use Sahara sand maybe yeah maybe that's what I used but um, you know, it's not very big. This would be good for one of our note card size cards. Okay, just put that right on there like that and tape it down. If you have a big die that is, you know, like the size of your card front, and there is one in this new catalog. Excuse me, I can't get a drink. I just have a tickle in my throat tonight. Thank you. You could use that. But I didn't have that either. <coughs> but what I did do was I took a piece of card of Whisper White cardstock and I used the dies, one of the dies from the Many Hearts. Okay, there's this die set and it, go, it coordinates with this stamp set, the Lots of Heart stamp set, which obviously I used on this card. And these dies and so what I did was I took this die here and I just cut it on the paper multiple times let's see oh you know what I cut it from this side is what I did so like you know I here and I ran it through I then I put it in here and I moved it through and I just did that all over the paper okay moved it around obviously this is bigger than my card front and that's what I want um, but um, I thought we would play with it and that's how I got my background on this card so I thought I'd show you how to do that um, and we're going to use some of the other dies out of this um, set too so let's go ahead we'll start with the the blending brush and using the homemade stencil so this is the card front my whisper white piece it's going to be I'm gonna cut this down after I stencil I prefer to do that because I just feel like it is that way like if I have one section that's better than another I can kind of cut it off cut off the bad section so let me so I've got my card base here I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna use some washi tape to attach it so that it doesn't move around. And the nice thing about sometimes washi tape sticks a little and wants to rip your paper, but if you're if it's on the back, then it's not really as big a deal. You know, if you kind of tear it a little bit, it's easy enough to hide. Or like I said, maybe I'll cut that piece off. I will so I will be cutting this down. Let's see here. That looks good. I got a few going off the edges on the side. So I think that looks okay. So I'm going to put this piece of paper underneath it. 
Um, and you want a piece of scratch paper, and, and I'll show you why. Oops, you know what? I want to fix this tape. Hang on a second. I didn't think that one through very well. I maybe don't want the tape over the holes too much. Let me do it this way. I think that one's okay. That one I can put like that. Yeah, sometimes I can't walk and chew gum, but it's okay. And yeah, you can get multiple uses out of this little homemade stencil. I mean, it's not going to last forever. You could use one of the stencils that's in our annual catalog. I believe we still have some. And you could do this same technique, but I just made my own. Even if you just had a hard stencil that you had that you wanted to use, like say you had a little heart like this and you wanted a heart background, yeah, you could run it through your die cut machine a lot of times. It'd take a little time, but that's okay. It would work. So we're on the card that I made, I used three different colors of ink. I used Petal Pink, Blushing Bride, and Rococo Rose. Um, I don't know if it shows too much, but we're going to try it again, and we're going to see how it works. And I think I'll start out with the Petal Pink at the top, Blushing Bride in the middle, and the Rococo Rose in the bottom. So, okay, let me put throw that out of the way there. Okay. Let's do it like that. There you go. There we go. So, you're going to take the brush, and you're going to, and this one's going to be my one for pink. I think I'm going to have one for each kind of color family, maybe like the neutrals, one for the pinks and reds, one for the yellows and oranges, one for the greens, and one for the blue, blues and purples. So that's one, two, three, yeah, like five of them. So I'm going to probably buy another package. So what you do is you take your brush, and I kind of like to hold it up here so you can give it, the amount of pressure you want. I worry that this is going to break here. I mean, it's sturdy, but it is plastic. I think it could break. So my, um, that's why I try not to put too much pressure there. So after you pick up some ink off your ink pad, take it over here and rub a little off. Now you probably don't need to do that with this ink because it's so light, but that just prevents you from getting a big, a big glob of of um you know big ink spot from when you first put your um brush down so and just keep going and i can tell i'm getting some on here and you know this is kind of the same technique as that what you would do when you were using you know like when you use sponges or sponge daubers or something along that line okay so since that's really light, I'm going to go over it one more time. And in this case, I'm, since I'm going to use the same brush for all three colors, I'm starting with my lighter color. Now, from what I understand, you can wash these brushes, but two, two caveats. They t because the brushes are so dense, they do take a bit of time to dry. And the other thing is when you, after you wash them, you want to somehow store them like this while they dry so that the ink or the water doesn't pool in here so that it'll like the gravity will bring it down. So, okay, I'm gonna put just a little more right here in the center. And there we go. There we go. So then if I was gonna clean it, if I was kind of worried about and I didn't want my um, ink you know, to transfer to another pad, then you could just rub it on a piece of paper. Again, this this color pink is so light, I don't, it's not really going to make any difference. It might be a bigger issue if you were using a darker color. Like now I'm going to Blushing Bride. So we'll pick some of that up here. And I think you'll see more of it when I brush off. See there how I kind of took some off? And so we're going to just start here, kind of blend it into the previous color. Takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of elbow grease, but most anything worth. It's not hard. 
Actually, kind of fun, kind of relaxing to see what you can come up with. And just kind of go until you're happy with it. I guess I'm kind of going up over the um, first color so, so I can kind of blend. So I'm going to finish with that one for right now. I can always go back and add some more. And now I'm going to go with Rococo Rose. You know, I realized I used Rococo Rose last week. That happens to me. I'll use the same color. I won't use it for a long time, then I'll use it for two or three times in a row. Okay. So I'm going to do the bottom half of this. I'm going to kind of take off some of that and start right here. I'm going to pick this up. Whoops. Kind of go over here. I had played with some, we have some black and white designer series paper in the catalog. I love black and white paper because there's so much that you can do with it. And I had played with it and I kind of got the colors all muddy and I wasn't really happy with it. I used some pinks and greens and then a little bit of a tan and I didn't like the way it turned out. So I got to play with that a little bit more. Okay, so let's get this. I kind of want this darker. So we're going from lighter to darker. So I'm going to take a peek, see how it looks and go from there. I think we're going to be okay, but take my tape off of here. Let's see what we got. It's a surprise. Oh, yeah, this one's much better than even my original card. Look at that. Look at that. See, I go from the lighter to the dark, and I could be, I could darken it up up here, or I could lay the, let me get this washi tape off of here. I could lay it See how it tore it just a little bit, but it's the back side, and I'm going to trim it up. It won't make much difference. So when you have extra washi tape, don't fret, because you know what? There will be projects where you're going to want it. Okay. Um, you know, I could put, I could do some more up here. But I think, I don't know, I think I'm going to leave it because I can cut off one of these corner, one of these sides because I do have to trim this down. And maybe I'll do one. Let me find a heart here. Um, mm -hmm. This was this side. I can tell. Okay, yeah, see, this was like this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this right up here and just do a little heart maybe right there. Get some, let's see. See if I can get a little bit of one without getting it in the other spot. Ah, yeah, it fills it in a little bit. I like that. Okay, I think that's cool. It goes from lighter to darker. I really like how that turned out. I like that better than my original. You know, practice makes perfect. Okay, so. I am going to set this off to the side here, set the papers off to the side. Okay, and so let me get my trimmer, we're going to trim this up, and this is going to be, oops, let me just drop something, hang on. This is going to be three and three quarters by five, so let's pull this up here. And three quarters by five. I'll cut the five first up here. No, you don't want to cut the lighter because I like the darker color. I'm only cutting a little bit off, so. Yeah, I probably didn't even need that extra heart, but you never know. And what is this? Then three and three quarters. Yep, I'll cut, I'll cut this side off. That side looks good. Three and three quarters. There we go. Oh, I like that. Let me set this out of the way. 
Okay, so we have that, and I'm going to put that on a Rococo Rose mat, and this mat is five and a quarter by four. That's gonna go right like that. Let me get my adhesive. shoot I didn't want to do that yet but you know what that's okay I got a way to fix this hold on I just happen to have it you know what and this is a tip I shared a while back but I'll share it again if you've got an adhesive and you want to put and you've put it on and you're not ready to stick it down yet we'll get this is a back to it like a mailing label um, you could use like the sheets that are our stamps you know the cling stamp things are on and use it while you're finishing this, like you could run this through the trimmer, like say I didn't get it trimmed up right or something. But what I want to do first is attach this so that I can cut this edge off before I attach it to my Rococo Rose base. Oh, something I didn't show you. Remember I told you I used this die to make my template. Well, when you cut all of these out, here's what you get. You get these little hearts. They, they look like this. They come from inside here. This is what cuts out. So it's a great way to get some, you know, it's an, just another use for the dies. You can make some individual hearts all in one fell swoop. So there you go. I thought that was kind of cute. So I realized that. I didn't realize it was going to come out in two pieces like that. So I thought I'd share. Okay. So... I used this die here, this row of hearts, which I think is just adorable. You know, you, it could be a, eh, I don't know, I don't think it'd make a good border based on the way it cut out, but it, that's what I used for this loop of hearts. Um, in the new catalog on page 11, there is some Love You Always foil sheets. There's six 12 by 12 sheets. Two Blushing Bride, which is what I, no, Two Blushing Bride, two Rococo Rose, that's what I used here, and two of the Sahara Sands. So let me show you those. Let's, um, let me pull these over here. And that's really good that there's six sheets in there. Look at that, isn't that just, it's probably blinding. But we got the Rococo Rose, the, what did I say, Blushing Bride? Yep, and the Sahara Sand. This is a gotta have. And you know what? Here's a little hint. I'm 99.9% .9 sure this isn't going to carry over because this is a retiring color. So if you want this, make sure you get it. Anything with one of the retiring in colors, you're most likely not going to be be back. So what I did was I cut a one inch strip of that foil paper. I used some of our adhesive strips on it. You know I put it on the back then I die cut it so now it means this is like a sticker. Okay I'm just taking the little centers out of the hearts right now. And then I'll peel the back and stick it down. Because you know what, this would be so hard to glue down with Tombow or something like that. It would be a mess. It would not look good. There's probably something we, some crafty person could come up with to use those little pieces, but I don't know what they look like. I don't know. I don't know what they look like. I'll have to think about it. Okay, so now all I have to do is peel this back off. And now I've got a sticky back, and it's going to stick right down. So we're going to put this right. I'm trying to do it so I don't have to cut off too much of a... You know what I think I'll do? I'm going to do it right like this. And I'm going to cut off those two end hearts so that 
I don't have just a little piece. I'll just cut the loopy loop. You know, right here. And right here. There we go. Maybe I can find something else to use that for. I see I can stick them up here. Save them for later. Maybe there'll be something else that will that I'll want to use them for. You know, since they've got adhesive on the back already, if I put them on a back of a sticky sheet, I could save them. Okay. So let's see now that they're on there. Perfect. Okay, let me get rid of those. I you know what I'll do is I'll probably think of something after I've dumped all those in the trash can. Okay, now we're going to attach this to the mat, the Rococo Rose mat that I had cut before. And like I said, let me get my pieces. This mat is five and a quarter by four. We're going to put that down right here. There we go. I can push this down. Good. Sometimes when you're cutting little bitty dies, thin dies like this, and there's adhesive on the back of the adhesive strip on the back, sometimes the pe the backing wants to peel off too. So I always have a piece of that paper like I was showing you around, just in case. And I think what we'll do is go ahead and attach this to the base. This piece is Blushing Bride. And it's half of an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, so it's eight and a half by five and a half, and then you fold it in half, and there's your card base. Simple as that. And it's a light enough color, you don't have to put a light insert on the inside. So if you're just joining me, welcome. If you like my what I'm making, please like and share my video. And I might be sending you this card next week. Okay. Put this right on here. I think this is... Okay. I think this would make a nice wedding card, especially with the sentiment that I chose, sent with lots of heart. I think it could work. I'm going to go ahead and stamp over there. This always makes me a little bit nervous when I stamp on something like this. And if it makes you nervous, that's okay. You know what you could do? You could stamp it on a little um, scrap piece, cut it out, and then attach it with dimensionals, okay? Yeah, we're going to make sure it's the right side up. So I'm going to make sure it's inked up all the way. Let me try this. So... Yep, okay, looks good. Now, of course, my dog has just shown up and she thinks she deserves a treat. Because I got a little bowl on my desk. Ah, there we go. We got it. Hold on, let me give her a treat here. Okay. Go on. Yeah, she thinks every time I sit down here at this desk, she deserves one. So we've, we've come, we've started. Um, putting her, cutting her treats in half or breaking them in half. Now let me get, um, we're going to work on the heart here. So I have a piece of the Whisper White. Let me get my mat out. We are going to use Rococo Rose again. Now, you know, this stamp set, I used the one that was curly cues. There's also a heart that has a gingham look to it. Okay. So, either one I think would look cute, but I just went with the curly cues because they kind of matched these hearts here. So, what you do is you're going to ink this up, and stamp it. Sometimes you gotta practice a couple times. I don't think this is. Yeah, see, I would, I would ink it up again and put a little more ink on it. But you know what? And then you'd run it through the die cutting machine. Oh, you know what else starts tomorrow too? Customers can order the mini 
stamp and emboss machine. Now, you've seen me use my full size one. There's one that's smaller. I think it weighs just about two pounds. And it's like three and a half inches wide on the platform. Um, and it's great for like if you're going up to a crop or something like that if you're traveling. So, I have already cut one out. So here we go. We've got this. And I'm trying to remember what I did. Okay. So what I did was I adhered this heart. I love this heart. It's right here. See, it also has a couple of other heart dies in it. So, different sizes. I adhered this straight down, and then I used dimensionals right on there. So let me put that down. Oh, I don't have my seal. I'm going to use a little heavier adhesive just so that it doesn't, because it kind of wants to curl. Oh, I've got some pieces in here. But I cleaned all those out of there, but I didn't. Okay, very. I get those out of the way. I don't have my um, seal plus around, but so I'm going to use my old fast fuse, which was our old heavy duty adhesive. Just because this is wanting to curl a little bit, and I'm not quite sure. I just want to make sure it stays down flat. So we're going to put that right there. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back and attach it, and we are done. So, like I was saying, if you like it, please share my video and comment shared. Because I can't, a lot of times if we're not Facebook friends, I can't see that you've, you've shared my video. And um, I might be sending you this card next week, okay? Let's finish this here. Let me get my little, this will help me get it all, I like this because this keeps my big fat fingers out of the way and I can get it centered a lot easier. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that, I think it's cute. I hope you like it. Um, I don't have anything else for right now. I will see you next Monday. Um, please don't forget, um, if you're placing an order, please use this host code. That one's ending here in just a couple of days. The um, new catalog starts tomorrow. I'll be posting the link. To, if your calendar or your catalog hasn't arrived, I'll be posting the link on my website tomorrow. And it will, you can look at it there. Um, and it's also celebration, so remember for every $50 you order, you get to pick a free product. There's some great designer series paper. There's a cup, at least one bundle that includes a punch. Um, and there's some great stamp sets. So I hope you enjoyed this card tonight. Hope you'll um, come back next week and please share my video. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great week. Bye now.